Hey everyone, it's your Admiral here and welcome back to Arc Extinction Core. Now today I'm actually kind of in a different setting and you might be wondering what's been going on underneath me. <laughs> Guys, today I'm actually going to try my hand at some building. Now these are S plus stone triangle foundations and these are really really cool because it just means that you can kind of make more geometric cool circular type shapes with these things. So what I've actually done is I've laid down six of them and they kind of all snap to each other and you get a kind of shape like this which I actually really love because this is actually all we have going right now guys. I made this like when I first started playing on the server and it does work. I mean it's making the crops and it works just fine but it looks crap you guys. Like what even is this? It's so ghetto. It's ugly. Um, it's so basic and I don't like it guys. I think it's about time that we have a little bit of a greenhouse going. Now usually when I make greenhouses I tend to kind of always go for the same design which is kind of like a big rectangle you guys. I know guys, I, I'm not very good at building. I know I keep saying this but <laughs> it's totally true. So I'm kind of going a little bit out of my comfort zone but it's been going well so far. I mean I managed to do this much without messing up. So what I kind of want to do is take the shape out a little bit further. So this is, I've kind of already played with the shape <laughs> once before, just so that I don't mess up on camera, <laughs> you guys. That's kind of what I have to do. That's what you have to do when you suck at building, guys. <laughs> and then what you need to do is fill these gaps with the triangle foundations and they just snap really, really easy. So this is like super simple, you guys. You can't mess this up. <laughs> and done now what you need to do for the next bit is i kind of want to make this one foundation bigger and the best way that i've kind of found to do this is basically stick them not beside each other like this but put them like this so that there's a gap like this in between so super simple i'm going to go ahead and put these all around the edges like this oh and one more Voila! <laughs> and then what you have to do is fill these gaps in with triangle foundations and it's super simple and it just makes a really cool shape you guys. <laughs> so let's just go around the whole way like this. I'm always kind of a bit nervous to do these kind of building things on camera because <laughs> I'm not good at it guys and I'm really afraid that I'm gonna mess up and stuff but guys I'm learning, I'm getting better at it you know. I've got like people like T-Bunny and even Wombat now has impressed me with his building skills so I feel like I need to kind of keep up a little bit. So if I fly above top here, you guys can see the kind of shape that I'm going for. I don't know if I want to make this any bigger. I really don't think it's necessary because I don't think we need that many crops. Um, and to be honest, I kind of prefer things small and simple. It's like the total opposite of the aesthetic of most people on the server, I think you guys, but I really, really do. I kind of prefer cuter, smaller sort of builds. So that's kind of what we're going to be going for today. Now, the next thing that we're going to need to do is learn all the greenhouse um, walls and, and roofs and those kind of things. So I'm going to go ahead and craft up some of those things and then I will bring you guys back when I'm ready to build the rest of this thing. Also, you guys, I just wanted to bring you back just to show you the situation with the eggs. I mean, what is going on here, you guys? There's like eggs all up in their butt. Like, I've never seen this many eggs in my life. Like, they're, they're just like... They're just like totally piling up everywhere, you guys. I think Wombat may have overdid it a little bit with the egg laying on the server. But on the plus side, you guys, kibble is like super easy to come by, as you can probably guess. <laughs> but at the same time, you guys, this is like super, super funny. I feel like I don't even need to pick these up anymore because we've got hundreds of eggs. Literally hundreds of eggs, guys. <laughs> All right, you guys, welcome back. And guys, I've actually done quite a bit while you were gone. I feel like building an arc is just so much smoother when it comes to S plus, you guys. So I basically just put in the regular greenhouse walls all around the edge and kind of a double layer. And you guys, I love this double door. Isn't it so beautiful? Like it looks so much better than the single doors you get in regular vanilla, you guys. I just like it just looks so cute. I love it. Now the next thing I've done is I've done some slope ceiling. So there's two over here, there's two over here, and there's two over here. And I made a triangular ceiling. I have no idea if this is gonna fit into that space. I kind of hope it does. 
so that I don't look stupid. <laughs> That's perfect, you guys. Yeah. So it's actually really, really easy to do, you guys. So I'm just going to cover this entire ceiling just like I've done like this. Slope ceilings all around the edges with the triangles in between. And then I think I'll just finish it off by putting some flat ceilings in at the top. And then, you guys, we're pretty much done. The only thing that I realized that I haven't done yet, which probably the most important thing, is the irrigation. <laughs> I don't know if I should have built the greenhouse first and then do the irrigation. Irrigation. I don't know guys we'll work with it if I have to tear some of this down so be it um, but my plan is basically to have some pipes going from the washer all the way inside so that we can get all of these crops in here irrigated and then I'll bring you guys back <laughs> All right, you guys, welcome back. I thought I'd bring you back in just so that we can do the roof together because you guys, this really confused me. I didn't know what I was doing and I ended up kind of starting off with some regular ceilings and then sloped ceilings and none of them really kind of snapped to where I wanted them to. So in the end, I kind of made a bunch of these triangles again. And then what you actually have to do is basically snap them like this. So one over there, oh wow. It's really really snapping really really weird right now so basically put two on either side like this and then all you kind of really have to do is fill in the gaps you guys so it's pretty straightforward you kind of just fill them in like this and let's just go through it so that <laughs> we don't get confused so like that and like this and then you're left with this kind of shape here which is pretty straightforward to fill in so you just kind of want to do this and do that Wow, <laughs> there's a lot of lag on the server right now, you guys. <laughs> I wonder why. That is super weird. And then just one last piece right there and voila, <laughs> it's done. Isn't this cool, you guys? I mean, I feel like it's a really interesting looking shape. And if you look from out here, it looks almost like it's a teardrop kind of shape. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, I feel like I didn't intend for it to look like this, but you know what? I dig it. <laughs> I think it looks really interesting. It looks different because initially I kind of wanted to have the ceiling flash on the top, but you know what, you guys? I think this looks better. This looks really weird. It looks like a crystal dome or something with a pointy top. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do next is start making some crop plots. We'll place them down, we'll see if they all have a decent greenhouse effect, and then I'm going to start on the irrigation system. And I have no idea how I'm going to do this, you guys. So, wish me luck! <laughs> Alright you guys, welcome back. Now this is what I've actually managed to do so far. So nothing's really changed with the actual building, but I have actually put some crop plots down. Now there are gaps in between where I could potentially put more, but unfortunately on top of these triangular areas they don't actually snap like they do on top of these regular foundations. So I might hold off on that. I haven't really decided. I mean, either way, this entire area is completely irrigated. So as you can see, everything's fully irrigated and we have 300% greenhouse effect, which is the maximum greenhouse effect on all of our crop plots, which is awesome. Now, I actually had a lot of trouble. <laughs> like you wouldn't even believe you guys trying to get all of these irrigation pipes to line up and irrigate and irrigate all the crops. I was just getting so confused by the piping, you guys. So what actually happened was that I messaged T-Bunny and she actually hopped on straight away and helped me out with some of this stuff. Now I'm going to show you in just a second how you can hide all these pipes if you end up using S plus piping. But what we've actually done is use a combination of straight metal pipes. We've got some intersections. We've got these really cool flexible metal pipes, which I didn't even know were a thing, you guys, <laughs> until t Bunny kind of just said in more circular builds, it's way easier to use these flexible pipes because you don't have like any huge right angles and it kind of takes up a lot less space than it would otherwise. So we've kind of wound the whole way around here with intersections and flexible pipes and stuff. And then when you come out here, we have an intake right under here. Now the coolest thing about this, you guys, is basically that you can come down here to the intake and then you just have to hit hide connected pipes and boom <laughs> everything's gone except the intake so if you can manage to put the intake underwater like we have done here um, and the thing the cool thing about this as well is that there's no collision see how i'm jumping in the areas where those pipes are you can kind of see the floating names if you get close to it but you know what guys that's totally fine but there's no collision here you can't see anything and when you come inside you can't see any of the pipes how amazing is that you guys it's not incredible this is why i love 
S plus. Everyone should go for S plus, you guys. <laughs> I'm so happy they've decided to make it into an official mod. But yeah, so I don't think you need this many water pipes, but we just kind of did them like this just for the sake of looking symmetrical. You can probably even just get away with two for this many amount of crop plots, but you know what? This looks fine. But there is a lot of empty space here. I haven't decided, like I said, what I'm going to do. I may add some more crop plots. There's a huge area over here that I haven't really decided what to do with yet. Um, I may just put some storage or something down here. So maybe things like fertilizer can go there or a dung beetle. You know, the possibilities are endless, guys. <laughs> but you guys, I'm actually super happy with the way that this turned out. I think it looks awesome. I mean, I didn't start off thinking that it would look like this. I kind of wanted to put a flat roof on it, but I was having a lot of trouble with the flat roof. And to be honest, I think it looks better like this. I mean, it's got a weird pointy head, but you know what? It looks like a teardrop. I like it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put some crops in here. And hopefully by the end of this episode, I'll be able to show you once the crops have all kind of grown up. And it's going to be awesome, you guys. Welcome back you guys. Now we are actually back on Ark again and it's actually been a whole day since I last talked to you. Now Wombat, Ham and I streamed last night and Wombat and I actually tamed up this Quetzal you guys. It was amazing. It was definitely the easiest Quetzal tame I've ever done in my life. It was just so simple. I picked him up on my RG and then he shot down at it, it went down, nothing happened, it didn't get attacked and we just kind of fed it the sedatives. Now these sedatives are amazing. Now this is actually the first time that I've used them you guys. All you have to do to make them is basically put 50 narcotics, 10 crystal, 20 rare flowers and 40 mushrooms in the workbench and you can craft up one of these things. Now the difference between the sedative as opposed to the opiate is the fact that the sedatives actually don't decrease their torpor, which means that if you use the opiate, they eat faster, but then they also kind of wake up faster as well, which makes it kind of scary. And sometimes you have to use narcotics and stuff, but with the sedative, you just have to feed them one and they eat so fast and they tame up super, super fast. So then I brought him back to T-Bunny and Rocky's base and then I discovered that they were actually mate boosted with this girl who's Mottle Lester. <laughs> so that's going to be awesome, you guys. I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave Slick Rick. By the way, you guys, the names of all the dinos you'll see today were actually all suggested by you guys and we absolutely love them. So yeah, I really like Slick Rick. <laughs> I think it's a really awesome name for this guy. And guys, look at this, look at this guys, we have two Quetzal eggs already, isn't this amazing? <laughs> now, not only do we tame up this Quetzal, which is amazing enough as it is, I actually spotted a level 520 female. I kid you not, guys. I think it must have been my greatest achievement <laughs> to date. A 520 Quetzal, guys, isn't that amazing? I did get Wombat to help me tame it. Like he was like super reluctant and mean about it and stuff, but he actually did help me down it. And she's actually back at home and I'll show you her stats in just a second. But this means that we've got two mate boosted pairs. So I'm going to leave Slickrick here for a little while with Malt Lester so we can get some eggs for T-Bunny and Rocky. And then we'll bring Slickrick over to our place and then we can get some eggs from our lady. Now let me show you some of the stats on our Slick Rick here. So we've got 16,000 health, we've got 7,200 stamina, we've got tons of weight, we've got a decent level of melee, and then 136.5% movement speed. He's not as high a level as Malt Lester was when we tamed her, but they're actually pretty close in level and they're really, really awesome, you guys. We've actually got three Quetzals on the server now, which is amazing. All right, you guys, welcome back to base. And I just really wanted to show you my brand new Quetzal. Well, it kind of is Wombat's Quetzal as well, I guess. I suppose he did help me to tame it, but I did find it. So, I mean, finders keepers, right? <laughs> so this is Mrs. Butterbottom, which I just thought was the cutest name ever. So she's actually got 28,300 health, we've got 9,750 stamina, we've got almost 2,500 weight, which is amazing. We've got a very decent amount of melee, and I've just put five points into movement speed because, guys, the Quetzals are slow. They are so, so slow. But she tamed out at level 780, and isn't that amazing, you guys? And I love the colors on her. I think she looks super, super cool. So I think she's going to be our resident Quetz. <laughs> Guys, 
There's one more thing I really, really want to show you, and it's actually the Carno that I tamed. She was actually a level 580. Can you believe it, you guys? I found such high level guys today. It was amazing. And we've actually called her Kira, and the reason that we've got Carnos here right now is for Carno Kibble. Now, let me let you in on a little secret. Now, earlier today, I was on with Wombat, and we were just doing some stuff around the base, and he kind of just said, we really, really need Carno Kibble to tame something or other. So I was like, okay, I'll go tame up some Carnos. So I went off and I tamed her and then it was only later on that I realized that Wombat was just saying that to get rid of me <laughs> because he was busy doing some building at the base it's kind of like you know how you have like little kids at home and they're like I'm really bored give me something to do and then the adult is like oh go off and do that just to keep you busy for a while and that's basically what he did you guys so I'm actually not sure what <laughs> we need Carno Kibble for I I think you need them to tame dire wolves and dire bears, correct me if I'm wrong, but either way it's going to come in handy. So I'm actually thinking that because we only have Kira here and she's not mate boosted, it would be really really cool to find a male Carno, you guys. And now that we have a quest, we can easily pick them up and drop them in our taming pen and just tame them super super fast, which is going to be awesome. Kira, we're going to get you a husband soon. <laughs> Oh, and before we go do that, there's also another awesome thing that I want to show you. And that is our Baryonyx, you guys. How amazing is this guy? I had been talking endlessly about Baryonyx. Like, literally, I think ever since I started on the server, I've been obsessed with finding a Baryonyx. They're definitely not the prettiest dino. I mean, to be honest, I think they're really, really creepy looking. But they're such amazing water dinos. And we don't have a single water dino. And I've spent so long like you don't even know you guys how long I've spent looking for baryonyx and I just haven't been able to find one that's high level but last night Ham actually found this guy and then he helped me tame it and I'm super super happy he was 480 to begin with and we named him Barry Crunch. It was super easy to tame. We knocked him out, we fed him a sedative. It was like super, super easy, super simple. And before we went out to do that, we got some prime fish meat. So he tamed up super, super fast. And I love Barry. I cannot wait to take you out on adventures. I think we definitely need to go and explore the ocean next time you guys on Barry because he is awesome. <laughs> Welcome back you guys, I had actually just decided to go out on our new quests, but I was kicked from the server again and it's actually been the third time so far. I've actually, I've really only been on here for about half an hour today, but I've been kicked three times already. And luckily nothing too bad has happened, like we hadn't died or lost our pets or lost our stuff. But I feel like it's just waiting to happen today. Like, as you can see, there's a lot of lag. There's a lot of rubber banding. I'm not quite sure what's going on. So I don't think today's the best day to go out and try and find stuff to tame. My idea was that I would love to find a male Carno, tame that one up so we can have a mate boosted thing going on with our female Carno. And the other thing that I would really love to do is find some stegos, you guys. We need stego eggs to make the kibble for the RGs and we've actually spotted some really amazing high level alpha RGs and we would love to tame them and no one has any stegos on the server because stegos guys are stupid. <laughs> but we do need them to get the kibble so I think that's going to be something we're going to have to do next time and luckily the Quetzal can actually pick up both Stegos and Carno so that's going to be super easy we're just going to have to drop them in the taming pen it's going to be super easy tames and then we can start getting some eggs I'm going to see if I can log back in later on today but I think I might need to leave it off here for now now there's one last thing I want to do and that is to make a GPS you guys I have such a terrible sense of direction it's unbelievable <laughs> like last night on the stream I feel like I must have spent at least half an hour getting lost even though Wombat and Ham had given me coordinates I kept getting lost over and over and over again and then everyone in the comments pretty much was like oh Peach is so stupid you know give her a GPS and stuff so you guys I'm gonna go ahead and make a GPS <laughs> All right, you guys, welcome back. Oh, I jumped really weirdly there. <laughs> That's so strange. But as you can see, you guys, I've actually crafted up a GPS. Isn't that awesome? I feel like whenever I give coordinates or people give me coordinates, there is a much less chance of me getting lost, hopefully, <laughs> this time around. And you guys, I actually made a spare one for Wombat. And as well as that, I made one for everyone on the server, you guys. I feel like everyone could do with the GPS. So I've just kind of left them in the fabrication in our house. So hopefully the next time I see them, I can give them to them. And we're all going to be way more set at doing stuff around here <laughs> with the GPS. <laughs> 
It's interesting. Um, this Quetzal. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be ours, but it clearly has a P in front of its name. Because mm -hmm. that's my... Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Even though I knocked it out, I'm just messing with you. It's fine. <laughs> So welcome back you guys, I'm actually here with Wombat and Ham at the moment and we've picked up three stegos, two females and a male, because everyone needs stegos around here. They're everyone's favorite dinos, right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. that's right. They're so mm -hmm. amazing. <laughs> we totally but, need the eggs though for yeah, alpha RRGs. Yeah. Everyone wants alpha RRGs, so that's why we've got stegos. So we're going to try and knock these guys out. So do you want to go ahead and start shooting? Okay. I feel like they're going to take about a shot apiece. Okay. Oh, one of them is out already. Yeah, two, two of them two are down, two okay. down. I want to shoot one. Okay, you go. Go ahead. Got him. <laughs> you got him. Well done. Oh, I knocked him out, though. Huh. <laughs> Did you shoot him again? <laughs> no, he's still, he's still up. He's still up. Oh, oh. Oh, oh I no, definitely shot out. that one twice. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. It's all good. We're good. It's We're good. good. It's all good. Okay, so who has the berries? I don't actually have any berries. I'm so prepared. I've got them. I've got them. Here we go. What should we name these guys? Oh, I don't know. I don't ever name my dinos, really. We should what? call them Prego Stego. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. So, because that's all they're used for is eggs. So well, that's one name. Are we just going to name them all that? We can no, do, no. We can do Prego Stego, and then... And then what? Can we name the male Pego Stego? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Pam, I was, Pam gets I, it. Are you taming this thing? I was about to chop it up for Chitin. No. no. Yeah, I was going to tame it up for Peach. No, oh, okay. you better not tame another turtle. That thing is dead if you tame it. <laughs> Don't you leave my turtle alone. Why do hey, you... Can, you f <sighs> can you fix my hair now? Oh. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Do I have scissors on me? I don't have them. I'll fix your hair when we get back to base. Okay. I think you're stupid. You're stupid. Your beard coming through the mouth of that thing looks like the trike is throwing up. Yeah. I know. Oh, that you tamed gross. the turtle. Why did you do that? Did it tame up? It tamed up. All right, oh. Peach, look what I got you. No. Oh, something's wrong with it. What's wrong it's with it? It's got a broken leg. Oh, no. I'm going to shoot it. You leave him alone. I tamed him up just for you. I'm going to shoot it. I'm going to name it Peach's little buddy. <laughs> no. OK, guys, everyone, I'm going to kill this thing as soon as Wombat's not looking. Um, Are you back at base, Wombat, just now? I am. Can you go up to our? cabinet no. saddles and figure no. out if we have stego saddles no i know you want to more than anything no i'm busy do you even know where it is after i told you like 50 hundred times where our you see are. i was gonna go but now i'm not <laughs> are you stuck oh, i mean please. there we you go could, you couldn't even find your way to us last night yeah but this is i this is a different this is different is okay? it okay it's totally different okay i feel like it's not that different <laughs> Okay, hey, this is Rocky, and I'm cutting in for Admiral Peach. No, Rocky, get out of here. <laughs> hey, guys, it's Rocky, and I'm cutting in for Admiral Peach. Oh, no! It's a <laughs> bollocks! It's dinos! Stop it! We're making Check mantis. Check his inventory! No! Check his inventory! There's a mattis! Oh, oh, my God! This is lovely, <laughs> you guys. Why do you always ruin everything, Rocky? Why, <laughs> oh, throw, throw me mashes at him! <laughs> Stop you can it, quit Rocky. whistling. You don't have to whistle. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Wombat said he put a one month mating interval on these guys. Yeah, so... we wanted it to be as real uh, as possible. Yeah. Uh huh. And so, they so were you like... looked up the mating schedules of actual mantis. Oh, he did. Yeah. Yeah. I hope the baby mantis is pink. That would be so cute. I hope it dies. I hope you die. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> That voice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. So we're back now. I found a male level 200 Carno. So we're going to try and tame this guy. What do you think, Elman? Let's yeah? do it. Okay, let's do it. My name's Samurai TV. By <laughs> Sorry. I keep calling you by your old name. It's so confusing. Why do you keep changing your name, bro? Uh, it just needed to be done. <laughs> you couldn't pronounce the last one, but uh, all of a sudden when I change it, you can pronounce it. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> Is it down? <laughs> it's down, yeah. Wow, I did nothing. I just ran around the cage like an idiot. So do we have meat? Do you have prime Yeah. Meat? Nice. Don't worry, I'm taming it for you. Here we go. <laughs> okay. We've got the sedative. And the reason we're taming this guy is so we can get Carno kibble. <laughs> what are you doing, Ham? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, we tamed it already. Oh, wow. So we have the female Carno at our base. So I think what we'll do is we'll keep the Carnos at our base and then you can have the awful, terrible 
Stegos. <laughs> I like Stegos. Those are, that'll be fine. <laughs> okay, you guys. So we've been actually been incubating this mantis egg, and it's gonna hatch. How much percentage do we have left? Oh, it's only three percent. Okay. Do you think it's gonna be a male or female? I hope it's a female. Um, it's going to be female, for sure. <laughs> I hope it's a female. So what we're going to do is we're going to give the old crappy one to Wombat because, you know, that's how we roll around here. So, yeah. 0.9%. <laughs> you, you're going to miss it. You're going to miss it. Run. I had to get I had to get meat. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, okay. you ready? You ready? <gasps> oh, it's oh, a pink one. Him. It's so cute. Oh, it's a male. Oh, oh it's purple. This is happening. Yeah. This is wonderful. This is so cute. It's purple and pink. That's adorable. So we've got 38,500 health. That's insane, dude. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Is it still following you? Hold on, hold on. Let me get it. To yeah, you. it's on me. Sorry, sorry. I walked away. And I should probably put food on this guy. Oh, it's so cute though. I wasn't expecting that they'd be this small. That's adorable. Yeah, this thing looks amazing. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to name? You have to name this. You need to stop this not one's... naming your dinos. Yeah, this one, this one deserves a name probably. Yeah. yeah, for sure. We need a name for this guy. That's really cute. We've got a pink one, a purple one, and a red one. <laughs> well, in six hours, we'll have another one because we're going <laughs> to try to get a female here. Yeah. Oh, this looks great, actually. <laughs> what do you think? It's small, right? It looks fun. It it looks, this looks amazing. Yeah, it looks like a teardrop. So, yeah. I actually didn't even take me that long to make, but I just wanted to make an interesting shape, and I just kind of turned out cool. So I'm if... totally stealing this idea. <laughs> I feel like we should have loads of these little, these shaped greenhouses all over the map because they just look really cool. It's just awesome. And by the way, if you want any of these crops, you know, feel free just to grab them because we've got tons of stuff now. So if you need stuff, oh, yeah. yeah, just grab I'm them I'm definitely stealing here. this. <laughs> All right, you guys, welcome back. So we've actually had such a productive day. We did so many things in our stream last night. We tamed up so many cool stuff and we bred an alpha mantis and we tamed up stegos. We tamed up carnos. So I feel like we've done so much, which is awesome. But Ham's with me now. And what do you think? How do you think our progress was the last few days? Um, I don't. I don't think we can sustain this level of pro <laughs> this level of activity. Yeah. I mean, really. it's just too. It's too much beast going on right now. <laughs> yeah. But we had so much fun, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I will leave Ham's link down in the description below. So definitely make sure that you check him out. And until next time, Admiral out. <laughs>